In this short video, I present my paper entitled Extending Human Perception of Electromagnetic Radiation to the UV Region Through Biologically Inspired Photochromic Physiologic System, published in Chemical Communications of the Royal Society of Chemistry. A contribution to the human power of distinguishing colors comes from the presence of three types of photoreceptive cells in the center of our retina, the so-called blue, green, and red cones. Each type of cone has several replicas of one peculiar photoreceptive protein. So we have three types of photoreceptive proteins, which absorb in slightly different positions of the visible region, as you can see here. The three types of proteins have the same chromophore, the photochromic 11 cheese retinal. The distinct positions of their absorption bands in the visible region are due to diverse amino acid composition of the pockets embedding the retinals. The first step in human color vision is the photoisomerization from the cheese to the trans configuration. The three absorption bands of the three types of cones work as if they were three fuzzy sets. What is a fuzzy set? A fuzzy set is more than a classical, classical Boolean set. An element either belongs or it does not to a Boolean set. On the other hand, an element belongs to a fuzzy set with a degree of membership that is any real number included between zero and one. The absorption bands of the three photoreceptors are three fuzzy sets that granulate the visible region. Lights having different spectral compositions belong to the three spectral fuzzy sets at distinct degrees. Finally, they are perceived as lights having different colors. We mimicked the basic principle of human color vision by using system of properly chosen direct thermally reversible photochromic compounds. One example of a direct thermally reversible photochromic compound is this spiroxazine. Its spectrum shows three absorption bands in the UV region. They are three fuzzy sets granulating the UV region. Whatever the radiation wavelength in the UV, it originates a photomerosenine with a specific absorption band in the visible region, conferring blue color to the solution. The hue of the color is always blue, whatever the radiation wavelength. The combination of more than two photochromic compounds allowed the implementation of biologic and inspire photochromic physiologic system that extend human vision to the UV. For instance, by mixing these photochromic compounds at the concentration you can read on the slide, by mixing these photochromic compounds, each having a peculiar spectral profile in the UV and giving rise to a specific absorption band in the visible region, we could discern the three UV regions through the color it is generated. Upon frequencies belonging to the UVA, the B food system became green. Upon UVB, it became gray. And upon UVC, it became orange. The performances of the B food system could be extended to solid cellulose supports. We implemented the B food papers for discriminating the UV regions. In this paper, it was possible to write in green by irradiating with UVA, in gray by irradiating with UVB, and in orange by UVC. Finally, this work contributes to the development of chemical artificial intelligence, showing that systems of properly selected photochromic compounds give humans the power to distinguish the UV regions based on the visible colors they generate. For more information, I invite you to read the original article 
by clicking on the link below the video. Thanks for watching and please enjoy reading the paper.